Hello, um, I'm here to do a review video on this little jewel. This is the LYX Pro CMG50 uh, shotgun microphone. Um, it is a roughly 10 inch long microphone and um, it uh, has an XLR connection. It is a uh, condenser microphone so it does, take, requ does require 48 volts phantom power. Uh, you can see it's got the it's got the ribs in it. I don't know how well you can see that in this lighting. Um, uh, we'll we'll get, show some images of it on there though. Um, it does have uh, a place where you can uh, take it apart right here like this, and you can put a AA battery in there to power it. Um, put that back together. It does have a uh, an on off button. Probably the most difficult button I've ever seen to use it's very hard it also does have a high pass filter off and on again these buttons are not meant to be used I don't think it's like the feel like you're gonna break your nail off just trying to, to get them to move um, it did also come with the, the windscreen this is the standard foam style windscreen windscreen not not anything special to it windscreen screen not scream um, it does fit on here pretty good covers up all the little <clears throat> lure things on there whatever you want to call it it also came with uh, a questionable shock mount <laughs> it's uh, I mean it it yeah it's hard plastic um, this is the type that you can either put on a quarter inch mount on a uh, on a tripod or you can put it in the um, in the hot shoe of your or cold shoe of your camera either way but uh, again it's it does have a little clip on there for your cable also but it, it's it fits in here very very tightly and then like I said that's fairly stiff so this isn't really a shock mount this is a drop mount. <laughs> it's a, about the only thing I could really think to call it um, and again you can't just plug this into a lot of cameras if you have a DSLR um, some of those provide uh, phantom power um, otherwise, you have to have an external recorder like the Zoom HM4, HM6. Um, I, on the other hand, have a Tascam uh, DR60 MK2 that I'll be hooking it up to. Um, it works really well. Its only downfall is that it is very power hungry. It will chew through four AA batteries in no time if you're on phantom power. Uh, I haven't gotten it. Of course, I think I've got a the set of rechargeable batteries that I got with my Tascam were either old, bad, weak, whatever you want to call it. They last on phantom power maybe 20 minutes. Um, immediately after I turn the power on, it drops a bar. Once I turn phantom power on, it immediately drops two bars. So it leaves one bar and then it'll record for about 10, 12 minutes roughly. So if that tells you anything, I'm not sure I haven't tried any other batteries. I've had it for two days now. I haven't got to do a whole lot of videos yet. Um, I just got my camera, the camera that I'm shooting on, which is a uh, a Casso, uh, excuse me, a Casso V50 Pro. Um, it's an action camera. I love it. Works great. I got a gimbal to go along with it, and um, I love using the gimbal. It's it's fun to shoot with. But again, let's get back to the microphone. Um, again, it's a 48 volt phantom powered microphone, shotgun condenser microphone. Um, I have it on a boom that I will have pointing at my mouth um, about 10, 12 inches above my head. Um, so you can see the difference. Right now, we're using the Acaso camera microphone, the built in microphone. So that's what you're, you're hearing now. And I will turn over to the, um, to the, the shotgun mic right now. Okay, and we are back now. Um, we are back on to, again, the Acasa camera, but this time I've got the, the uh, Lix Pro, Lix Pro, however you want to pronounce it, um, shotgun microphone going into the Tascam, and then I will be mixing them later on my um, recording software. So <clears throat> this is how much different it sounds. I don't know which one you'd like better. I will say that um, altogether, microphone cable, um, I got the kit, the Tascam with the kit and everything for 179 
The microphone was probably $40, I believe, somewhere around there, $38, something like that on Amazon. Um, you also need a microphone cable to go along with it. Um, that was a very loud motorcycle that just drove by. I'm not sure if you heard that. Um, and also, I, I, there is a TV that you can probably hear in the background that, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I would love to make my house completely silent for these videos, but I can't afford that luxury. So this is what we get. Um, anyways, uh, so other than tripod, the boom microphone or the boom stand and all that kind of good stuff, the microphone, a cable, and the Tascam recorder, a little bit over $200. And as you can see, it makes a huge difference on audio in your videos. So it is well worth it to do this. Um, I highly suggest it. There is a lot of, of things you can do with the, with the Tascam. There's a lot of things you can do with the shotgun microphone. Um, not to mention the fact that even if you don't want to use the shotgun microphone, if you have the Tascam, you can use a lapel microphone. Um, you can use wireless. You can go wireless if you want to. You can use a handheld. You can use a Shure SM7B. Um, gets you that really good podcasting voice and vocals and everything. That if you don't have a thousand dollar DSLR with XLR inputs on it, um, whatever, then you can get something like this. I personally will never ever go with a thousand dollar DSLR because I do this as a hobby. This is one of the things that I enjoy doing but it doesn't get, make money for me, so why would I spend that much money on it? Um, I'm not cheap, but I'm also not rich, so um, I, I'm frugal with what I, with what I get. I, I know I do my research and I know what I need, um, and I know what I can get away with. So in this case, um, I think I've, I've made some pretty good choices. I think I would upgrade my, my tripod next. Um, I got a few of them that hold a couple little monitors and stuff. Uh, they do fine, but moving them around and stuff, it's very difficult to do it without them feeling like they're going to fall apart. So um, that, that would be my next thing. Um, I've got some a boom on the way. Uh, a, uh, an eight-foot boom is on the way, which I will also use to do some actual video recording with. So um, I'm going to put the camera on and I'm going to start doing some video recordings with that. So anyways, um, I'll end this video now. And uh, if you have any comments or anything like that, let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.